Hello, this is Elena, the content manager here at Winninges, your trustworthy team of WordPress, e-commerce, and e-learning experts. And in today's video, we'll be talking about using membership plugins with LearnDash. A large number of LearnDash site owners are choosing to use their LMS along with a membership solution rather than just using LearnDash on its own. But why? What do these membership platforms bring to the table? Do you even need an, a membership platform? And if so, which one should you go for? We'll be answering all of those questions in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump into it. For people whose main focus in business is selling online courses specifically, it's pretty obvious that the backbone of their website is going to be an LMS such as LearnDash. That is because an LMS gives you access to all the essential features that you need for building your online courses, such as quizzing, course hierarchy, student profiles, reporting, certificates, and more. However, a lot of these same people are choosing to use membership plugins despite the fact that their LMS already has built-in content restriction and protection features. So today, let's talk about why. Why do people choose to still use a membership plugin on top of their LMS? What we have seen happen in a lot of cases, for example, with our clients, is that the course creators have very unique ways that they want their users to experience their courses, whether that be a, member, a single membership that gives them access to all of their courses or specific membership levels giving them access to different kinds of courses, whether it be beginner, intermediate, advanced, or they wanna take their students on specific course paths that are associated with different membership plans. In addition, a lot, of, a lot of course creators wanna offer different things on top of just an online course, whether that be webinars, exclusive discussions, access to gated forums, access to gated blog posts and gated uh, downloadable files. So all of these additional resources that are, that are administered outside of LearnDash are a good reason to wanna incorporate a membership solution into your regular LMS site. Let's talk about one of the best membership plugins to use with LearnDash, which is Paid Memberships Pro. With the Paid Memberships Pro integration, you'll be able to create different membership levels and associate them with LearnDash courses. By associating several LearnDash courses to a single level, you can create different access plans or even course paths. And at the same time, you can restrict access to specific pages or posts beyond Learn Dash, the Learn Dash side of your site so that you can create a more robust membership program like we discussed previously. The integration is free. MemberPress is an another plugin that seamlessly integrates with Learn Dash and allows you to create different membership levels that tie in with your courses. What makes MemberPress stand out is its advanced rules to set conditional access. You can create membership plans based on a variety of criteria, including user roles and even user behavior. This way, you can restrict access to your courses, create different course paths, same as with Paid Memberships Pro, and also create a more robust membership program, restricting and gating content over your site. Here at Winninges, we have almost 10 years of experience working with LearnDash and plenty of our clients are using membership solutions along with their LearnDash sites. So if you would like any help setting this combination up or structuring your new LearnDash membership site, don't hesitate to leave us a message. And if you would like to see a video where we walk you through a detailed setup of LearnDash along with any of these membership solutions, leave us a comment down below and we'll be happy to create that video for you. But before you can choose the right membership plugin for your site, you wanna have a clear idea of what features you should prioritize in a membership plugin when it comes to using it specifically for online courses. The first thing we should think about is accessibility and user friendliness. You want to choose a membership plugin that is not only easy to navigate on the front end, ideally you also want a membership plugin that is easy to use on the back end for your team that is similar to what your team is already using so that it's easy to manage as well and to administer. On the front end, you'll also want 
something that's simple, easy to navigate, and that matches well with the look and feel and navigation on your online course pages. Second on our list is strong integrations. You want to choose a membership plugin that not only plays nice with LearnDash, but also integrates seamlessly with any other tools you might be already using on your site, whether that be WooCommerce for e-commerce purposes, whether that be a CRM, email marketing plugin that you're using for email notifications, anything else that you're using on your site. This is to avoid any bugs and any problems down the line and to make sure that everything works together like a well-oiled machine. And third, we want to talk about subscription management features. You want a membership solution that allows you to create the membership plans or programs you have in your mind on your actual website. So you want to make sure that you have access to all the right restriction options that you need and also that you get access to other cool features that come in handy like downgrades, upgrades, easy cancellations, trial periods, etc. Here's where the different platforms do have slight differences, especially when it comes to what you have in mind for your online course website. For example, with Paid Memberships Pro, a common problem that we found is that it doesn't allow students to have more than one active membership at once. So if your student already has an active membership and wants to purchase another one and you're using these for course paths, and they're already on one course path and they want to take an additional course path, their previous membership will be revoked. So for this specific scenario, we wouldn't recommend this membership plugin, but it can work perfectly for other membership plans where course paths is not the application. So as you can see, there are slight nuances and specific use cases for membership plugins and each of the membership plugins. If you would like to learn more about one specific membership plugin or application, please let us know in the comments below and we'd love to create that content for you. So that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If you have any comments about this video, any questions about using LearnDash with memberships, or if you would like to suggest any video you want to see in the future, make sure to drop us a comment below.